In this video, we're going to have a look at simple interest. When an account is opened with a financial institution, the account receives a reward called interest. If the account is an investment, you will receive the interest. But if the account is a loan that you've taken out, you will pay the interest to the institution. Simple interest is a system where this interest is calculated as a percentage of the original amount that was invested or taken out as a loan. This is calculated per term and in grade 8 this term is usually per year. So in this video we are going to use our prior knowledge on percentages to determine interest. Example 1. Mia invests 1000 Rand at 7% simple interest per annum for 3 years. Calculate how much Mia will have in her account at the end of the 3 years. Even though in grade 8 we only work with simple interest, there are two methods for calculating interest. And in grade 9 we also look at compound interest. That is why it is important for the question to state that it is simple interest. Here we are given that she invests 1000 Rand at 7% simple interest per year. We now know that 7% means 7 out of 100 and to determine 7% of 1000 we multiply. This will give us 70 Rand which is the interest that she receives per year. But Mia has this account for three years, which means that she will receive 70 Rand three times. And in total, she will then receive 210 Rand interest for the three years. The question here is how much money will Mia have in this account? So remember that she started off with 1000 Rand in that account. And then she earned 210 Rand interest, which means the total amount in this account is 1,210 Rand. You can also choose to do the first two steps in one by making use of a formula. And for that, we need symbols. We took the simple interest of 7%, which we'll call I, and multiplied it with the original amount. For that we use a P. Then we took this answer and multiplied it by the number of years and there we have the symbol N. So to calculate the simple interest which I'm going to use an S for, we took the original amount P and multiplied it with the interest rate I and then also with the number of years N. Example 2. Josh takes out a loan for 50,000 Rand. He pays 8% simple interest per annum. How much does Josh owe after 4 years? This time I'm going to immediately get the total amount of interest by using the formula. For that I start with the loan amount of 50,000 Rand and multiply that by the interest percentage and then he pays this for 4 years every year, so we times that by 4. This means he pays a total of 16,000 Rand interest. This means that after 4 years, Josh has to pay back the 50,000 Rand he borrowed, plus the 16,000 Rand interest, so in total he owes 66,000 Rand. From these two examples, you can now see that in financial maths, simple interest is one of the places where we use our knowledge on percentages to do calculations.